Oh, so me yeah. and Frith are both modified to six. Well, I'll see you in like 40 minutes, everybody. <laughs> so I'm going to... Yeah, need to d delete wow. these goblin archers off of it. Okay, I've set myself to 15 now. And we are at a one defense penalty right now. And here is the initiative of that winter sturge. Uh, Bryce is entering this in the perfect state. One wound remaining. So it's you. You all are, uh, and it's you all are, are kind of trudging along. Um, I guess it'd be second six that Aramon notices this creature. Now I'm just going to delay it to second six. Get rid of these goblins that are littered around the map. So Aramon, you're the first one to notice. Of uh, Aramon and Vrither are the first one to notice this creature as it as it bounds up on this next ridge line and at first you might have spotted it in the distance and you thought it was just a wolf or a sturge but now this is the biggest winter sturge you have ever seen yeah i'm going to uh shout a warning to everybody And otherwise, I'm just, uh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, I'm going to keep delaying until this thing gets within 30 feet of me. All right. Um, all right. Uh, what is Vrither going to do? So I'm just advancing the tracker up to seven, Yeah, six. I will just keep telling him to stay back. I'll, I'll, I mean, I okay. will tell him to stay back. He is in no condition for this. That's fair. I think he has a. He might have a short bow, but I don't know if he has. He probably doesn't no, have enough time to. No, he only. The last time I saw, he only had melee weapons. All right, he could not afford a short bow. So we move on to second seven. Yes. Uh, yes. How about have have Reiter, since he's got such a high initi a low initiative, he should shake someone. Well, I shouted a. What do you mean? Can you do other? Yeah, so every so shouting a warning can reduce everyone's initiative by two seconds. But Elko, Elko, wake up! Shaking someone can reduce their initiative by a further. Uh, you can split the difference. So, Reither moves over there, and on second seven, he tries to shake Elka. He's on second seven. Elka's on second eleven. So that'll. Reduce Elka by another two seconds down to second nine. Uh, this creature bounds forward, closing the distance. And on second eight, it, it reaches here. Uh, I believe he's now within 30 feet. All right, I have been channel casting for how many turns now? Two seconds. Has it only been two seconds? Oh, six to eight, yeah. Shit, I need one more second. So, on second nine, a lot of things happen. So, we'll start with all of you first. So, I'll just move this fella down. Uh, Aramon, what are you doing? I cast Alter Emotion Frighten. All right. That is going to be a... It's a mental save versus a 20? Yes. Ah! So, Armin's cast uh, Alter Emotion Frighten. So then hit done. Orbel, what are you going to do? That's the one where you have to challenge the creature in order for it to work. No. No. Oh. That will just frighten the creature. And the creature has been frightened. So you see as it's charging forward, it's, it, it kind of you know, pull up to a stop. 
I always imagine it like that uh, scene from Lord of the Rings where Gandalf says, I'm not some conjurer of cheap tricks. You know, the whole scene goes kind of dark around him and he gets seems to get larger and looming. Just for like a split second, that's how I am. Yeah, yeah. perfect. And you I... see Orbal, you can see the creature like it it changes. It it stops moving forward and you know uh, it looks like it's it has a change of heart at whatever Armin has done. I close ranks with Hawk, Hawk, uh the dwarf. Okay. But we're side by side just in case. But I'm I'm ready. You know, I have my club, I have my, my buckler. It's like you close ranks with the dwarf, and the dwarf is like, Oh, look at that mountain, look at that cloud. It kind of looks like a bunny. <laughs> Vrither, uh, I guess the other person that goes on second nine is Elka. Elka, what are you going to do? I am going to ready my um, morning star and my shield, and I'm going to like clang them together with the large shield. Okay. So it it must be your clanging of your shield on your on your or with your mace against your shield because this creature turns and it it veers off in a in a you know a spray of snow and. Begins to flee. I would say that was anticlimactic, but I don't give a shit. For four Good. minutes. He's running away for four minutes. What all are you going to do? You I'm see this creature good. run off. I hold my ground. We don't know what's going to happen next. So, you know, I'm, I'm look out for other creatures. It might be, it might not be alone. Man, that snow melted fast. Yeah, roll a roll an observation check. Opposed, if you'd like. I don't like it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Ugh. Disgusting. All right. So you 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 peer amongst the 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 snow covered mountainside, and you do not see any other of these creatures. You just see that creature bounding away until you 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 lose sight of it around a a, a curve or a twist. What would you all like to do? I mean, if we're still in initiative order. Oh yeah, initiative. Yeah. You're you're out of initiative order. Oh okay. So I was say then, because Frythor would just shake yeah. Huxix. It's like, well, yeah, you're an out of you're out of initiative order. Yeah, the big wolf comes stumbling in. Hawks is like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's already God. I didn't return to see it. <laughs> uh, but I think at this point, Hawksix is gonna go. That's not gonna be the only one of them. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead. I'll ready my shield next, and I'm going to walk with them ready for a short while. Also, since it's been a new day, Orbal. That's another two wounds. You get another two hit points, not two wounds. Oh, another, another day, two wounds. he stabs you. It's another two wounds <laughs> healed. Well, the sheet says nothing about hit points. It's all measured in wounds. You get <laughs> wounds and you remove wounds. Don't look at me. I didn't so, invent the game. Hoxic, you're starting to be a little bit you're 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 starting to be more prepared for combat and you're you're walking out with your weapons out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll probably do that for at least a couple hours. All right, is everyone else taking that same level of caution? No. Yes. Okay. I have a giant. I don't have a giant weapon. I just have a, a weapon that takes like a second to pull out anyway, and it's rather unwieldy to just walk around with it all the time. Well, actually, technically, I guess I have to walk around with it all the time. It's like the quarter staff argument. What am I gonna do with it if I'm not walking around with it? Where does a hat? Bro, I hold it up my tent. <laughs> <laughs> it's holding up your tent. <laughs> oh, good question. How how do you see it through your tent to cast the spell? <laughs> yeah, you didn't have line of sight. We got, to, we got to all go back now. Through the front of the tent, obviously. Also, the spell says nothing about line of sight. 
everyone roll opposed observation checks again. Click the oppose button and observation. Hey, I did pretty good that time. <laughs> ah, damn it. Four so, minutes later, he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> so you all are are journeying forward on the uh, through through this pass, and Hoxic, you're you're staying more alert than the rest of the the party. You and you and Elka are are keeping your eye out for this this creature. You have your weapons out, and you notice at first it just looks like like a, a snowfall, and then you notice a form slinking behind you. You see the winter sturge has returned and is yeah. following your party. Uh, what would you if like we to have, do? Um, if we have time before it engages, I will go ahead and uh, try to nudge everyone to look in that direction. It's like, over there, things back. And I'll actually go ahead and move myself in that direction to like intersect. Yeah. Right, so you intend to alert everyone. So, mm -hmm. what you guys were at least somewhat ready. You guys had, some of you had stated you were preparing. So for the people mm -hmm. that stated they were preparing for combat, you roll a d10. Mm -hmm. yeah. For the people that aren't, you roll a d12. Except Hoxic. that I always have that thing where I'm Ooh. always anyway, so I roll a d10 anyways. Hawksick, you get to actually roll one dice better, but you are I rolled the best I could on a higher die. <laughs> uh, but I still get the plus one because snow and stuff, so four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I also need Orbal and Can you uh, can you add me? I didn't oh yeah, I can add you guys. Did. Yeah, you can roll initiative off the character sheet lessons, and it'll automatically roll onto the uh, the turn order. Okay. Just for future reference. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, no, totally fine. It. Uh, are we still frozen? The the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is still cold. Yeah, that's why I did it manually because I'm adding the plus one. Okay, yeah, that, that's totally fine. Um, so on second four, Hoxic, you are in fact the first person uh, to notice this creature. And I assume you, it, from your first actions, it sounds like you were going to raise a hue and cry. Yeah, so that'll be one second then. So everyone right. gets to reduce, yeah, that'll take one second to do, and it'll reduce everyone's initiative by two seconds. It's all the way back there, so I got to go that way as soon as seconds come around. So second five, Hoxic. All right, so we got two seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and move uh, 10 and then 15. So 25, delay, two, and then we're both acting. There we go. All right. It uh, on. So you, you just moved all the way up to second seven, correct? Yeah, that's right. So I'll do one more done, and then it goes. So it is. It's jogging forward. It's just kind of moving at its at its lope at its loping pace. But then it sees you coming forward, and you can you almost see it snarl um, and pick up its speed. Okay. Uh, this is where we've got everyone moving. So it's going to continue moving forward, uh, moving now into a a, a jog. And Hoxic. Uh, let's see. Is there a defensive option for preparing for a charge? If you have a weapon that can be set for a charge, then yes. Otherwise, right, it's just no. a hand axe. So the answer is nah. no. No. I guess there is full parry. These are things chosen at the time when it happens, I think. Yep. 
Okay, so I'm just waiting for the clash, and I might choose a high defensive option for for that. I'm going to go ahead and wait until it strikes. So I'm just going to hit uh, delay for like three seconds. All right, that works for me. What about Rither? I guess he's shaking. One so wound remaining. He's paid, but he's not doing well. No, he's not engaging with the giant Sturge. Orble, mm -hmm. what would you like to do? You hear Hawkshik his, his call. It's back! Okay, uh, if I switch weapons, it's going to delay me even more, right? Depends on what weapon you're switching to. Longbow. Yeah, so it'll if you pull out your longbow, then you'll have to wait the weapon speed of the longbow to attack. Okay, I'm going to move forward then. Uh, five okay. feet. Well, five feet first and then ten feet. You can also move while you're pulling out your longbow, though, as well, if that's what you still intend no, to do. No, that's... It's going to move forward. Yep. All right. Make sure to hit done. There and on second nine, you can continue moving. Now I can move ten. Uh, you could have started in 10 and then moved oh. 15 if you'd like. So two more then. Yeah. Armon. I'm just going to not do anything yet. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to pull out my weapon, which is one second anyway, so that's what I'll do. Yeah. Elka. Uh well, I already have my weapon out. Um I'm going to try scaring it off again. So you're just going to bang your shield again? Yeah. All I'm right. It. Worked last time, right? <laughs> exactly. Roll an intimidation roll. You start banging your shield as loud as you can. And on second nine, it moves forward. It doesn't look like it cares. All right. And that's its turn. It just moves up. And on second 10... I'll let everyone else goes for go first. Uh, so Elka, what would you like to do? It it's still approaching. So you you charge, charge up. up. Moving there. Armon. Let me try. I'm uh, going to go for the Deathly Visage, starting that now. Okay. Right here is just holding back. Orble, you've moved up there, correct? Yeah, now I'm holding besides Hawks. 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 I'm just going to call you Hawks for next. <laughs> I'm not <watching>. Commander <laughs> Hawks. Yeah. And make sure to hit done. Yep. And this creature, it bounds up and in, in leaps and bounds, it r runs to the right of you, Hawksick. Well, you see it. It as it as it runs past, it like just runs on the side of the path. Um, it all it feels like it almost looks at you and ha, laughs. Wait, where are you going? Come back here! Don't ignore me. I'm important. I'm a PC. Eat me. I wish Dorf tasted better. If he's going out to the donkeys, he's, it, it should remember that donkeys kick hard. <laughs> uh, on second 11, 
uh, I'll let you all you all lead. Fine. It well, actually, I'll I'll move it first. Uh, it is going to actually move up to right here, um, and attack Elka. Ooh. Oh, it hops straight up on the rock. Yeah, <clears throat> it bounds forward and gosh, it slashes at you, Elka. Well, actually, it tries to bite at you. It did kind of enter and move through my threatened radius for that. If that matters. It does mean that you're now engaged, but... Okay. I can defend it with my shield. Yeah, would you like to do any defensive action? Yeah. Anything specific? Uh, I'd like to block it with my shield. So try and roll a defense roll do... against... You could do full parry, which is what I was thinking. Yeah, you could do a full parry, which would give you plus five to your defense roll, or you could give ground, and that would give you a plus five, but it would mean you'd take a step back. We'll do a full parry. Go for it. Okay. So that would mean you have a total roll of a 12. Are we still in the minus one territory? Yep. Yes. So that's 11. So it fumbles. So uh, let's see. Fumbles. Fumble, melee fumble, and you got an 11. It got an 8. So I missed by 3. You don't get a free attack. Uh, and there's no ally for it to bite. So it stumbles up and it almost slips a little bit on the rock it's hopped up on and its attack misses. Okay. So, so, the one good thing is that it's missed. However, the bad thing is that you did a full parry, and so you're going to have to wait your weapon speed uh, to attack. All right. So, so Orble, what would you like to do? I believe I do have a plus one because there's three people attacking it, or... Then. It will just roll a d12 instead of the normal uh, d20. Well, that's better for me, so I'm going to club it. Club it like a baby seal. All right. You have to just step forward just a little bit, and then boom, smack away. Uh, 13 is fine. All right. Here, it, it is rolling a d12, so it's got a... But it rolls... Rolls really high and it, it dodges out of the way. Damn. And your strike misses. Well, I had a 14, but yeah, sure. Either way, it sounds on that. Oh, uh, I'm going to delay. Rither. Uh, I think he's just going to continue to hang back. And Elka, you did full parry, and so you'll have to delay your weapon speed. I'm just going to... Uh... Actually, I can't do it. Can you... I'll just uh, pipe... Uh... Put Vyther to 99, and if something occurs, I'll just interrupt. That works perfect. Hoxic, the this large Sturge, this beast of the winter, has charged past you to attack Elka, you see its eyes, it's actually not even looking at the two of you, and it's focusing mm -hmm. on Elka, Armon, Eric, and Ryther. I'll show it for ignoring me. Uh, so I'm going to move up a little bit, and then I'm going to attack. I'm going to recklessly attack. All right. Uh, which, to remind myself, that was plus five attack and minus two defense. Okay. That's correct. It isn't even facing your direction, so you're actually behind it. Indeed, it, which is also It doesn't know good. you're there, so there's no backstab, but you do have rearward strike, which will ignore uh, some of its damage reduction. Which and ought to help a, out. And, uh, you have let's... The, uh, and you have the plus one because there's three people there as well. Uh, it, it just, it, that doesn't give you a plus one. It just reduces yeah, the defense, defense it has. I, I, I yep. keep... No worries. No, totally fine. Uh, so 20 should definitely work then. Oh, or... I changed speed. There should have been plus five on the attack. My bad. Yes. Yeah, so... I, I put the wrong thing. So I'm 25 versus a 21. A 25 versus a 21. Your 25 does hit. 
the 21 is green because it rolled a D8 and it penetrated on that. So that's not a critical. So it doesn't give it a perfect defense. And because it didn't, if it had managed to roll dice and reach over 20 off the actual dice, mm -hmm. that would have been a perfect defense. So just so everyone knows, if you are using lower dice, you can still get perfect defenses um, on those dice. But because his his over 20 was taken from his bonuses, it's not a perfect defense, and you've hit. Mm -hmm. So let's see your damage. Let's do it. Three. It penetrates ah. the armor. <laughs> well, it uh, you are attacking it from behind, so you do land a blow with your hand axe, but unfortunately, it's just not great. Yeah. I, I like catch its tail and cut off a little fur. That's about all I got. Yeah, you shave his tail. Of fur. Yeah, you shave his tail. Yeah, I keep warm with this for three months, <laughs> uh, and then I will delay weapon speed of eight. It might not have hurt it, but you can see it shivering. Oh, yes, in twelve hours it might freeze to death. Yeah, who's who's winning in the long run? That's right. So horrible. Uh, looks like you might have hit done instead of delay for your weapon speed. Okay. So I think nine more seconds on your club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. I guess because there's just one second. That... So 21, I think. Yeah. So on second 13, which... Is our next second Aramon? You've got your weapon out. Yeah, but I already did my first uh, Deathly Visage, and so now we're on Deathly Visage Part Two. Yes. You are making a big ruckus, and you're being deadly, and it uh, it does. Look like it's a little bit upset. It it does see you and you're making a big ruckus and it growls at you, baring its teeth. I'll growl back. And we get to second 17 and it's its turn next. And it is going to... Attack Elka once more. Are you going to do any defensive action this time? Uh, I'm going to take ground, step back. All right. And so you can move yourself. Uh, because you're faster, you're going to have, or because it's faster than you, you're going to have to scamper back, which means you're going to, you get to move 10 feet back away from it. And it can choose to follow. And you have a 10 to defend. And it gets an 18. As it lunges forward and bites you. So it does 11 points of damage as it catches you as you fall back. Awesome. Hoxic and Orbel, you guys can choose to follow on that second mm -hmm. a total of your your walk speed. So 10 then? Yep. Or a walk speed would be 5 for you. Okay. And then 2.5 for Hoxic. Yeah, so let me move back 7.5 feet. I'm on the other side of the rock. So an 11 point wound. How many days to heal? I guess I'm... Remember you have damage reduction. Oh. So I'm going to reset my timer to 18. So it's gotten far enough away from Hoxic that he can actually just disengage. And you're also outside of his bubble. So you're not threatened by him, so he doesn't force you to stay in melee with him. How big of a wound did that end up being? Six points. Six points. Okay, cool. And that's its turn. 
And that takes us to second 18 on Hawksix's turn. All right, I gotta try to re-engage, which means, uh, since we just clarified his walking speed's 2.5, how far can he get? 5, or can he actually get up to 10? Uh, his jog speed is 5, his walk speed is 2.5. Yeah, so he can get up about 5 on this turn, and then he'll just have to accelerate next turn. Which, I mean, he has time for it. <clears throat> so yeah, second 19, accelerate, and I'm in. And second 19, you're in. Yep, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, dive in with another uh, all-out attack. Let's do it. Well, that time I just rolled terribly. Hmm. And this time you're unable to, you, you dive back around this rock to try to stab at it, and it's just weaving in between each one of you, dodging your attacks and, and biting and barking, and it, uh, there's blood on staining the snow from Elka, mm -hmm. but you haven't heard it. And now I will delay another eight seconds. There we go. So next up, we go to second 20 and then 21 for Orbel. I go for the club. Swing away. It's the second. It uh, rolled a one, so it's got another fumble. Oh, my page is not loading up. My character page. Oh, there it is. Oh, here comes the attack. It's a critical. Oh, it's a critical? Awesome. And he had a fumble. Yep, and so your critical does penetrate. So you have a total of a 21 to hit. He has an 8. So... Roll, uh, roll damage. Twelve points of damage. Holy smokes. So, decent chunk of that will go through its DR. And, uh, here's the, uh, since it is not a, a humanoid creature, mm -hmm. it works just a little bit different with how the total critical damage works. Mm -hmm. So, you... Uh, because it's just non-humanoid, so it's, it doesn't have the same body shape. So I just have to find that page. I always forget what it is. It says um, the four. The, I also the the one d four was maximum. I guess that's why I added a plus one to it. I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it was because it rolled again and then it rolled a two, which had a minus one. So that was the the penetrating aspect. So you do enough to get two extra damage dice. Now, the mm. way that works is you have two damage dice, so you get to roll both of them again. So roll another 1d6 and a 1d4. 1d6 plus 1d4. Not penetrating, right? Yes. Oh, no, both of them are penetrating. Both of them are penetrating. So everyone has a exclamation P then. All oh, those fours, so, yeah. So a total of 22 points of damage to this creature. Nice. So what does that wound look like that you just did to it? I just go for the flank and I hit him in the back leg and it's like, just as a, you can hear a crunch like, <laughs> I say it hits and it, like, ah, and it turns around and like, try to, you know, curl on itself as it tries to, to take the hit. And you can hear the bone crunch as a, as a club just comes down hard on its flank, on its back leg. And Aramon's deadly visage has been making an effect on this creature. So I need you to roll a d20 and add your morale modifier. Okay. Uh, 
A six. That's not great. But uh, you have been doing it for twice, right? You have reduced it by two. What do you mean reduced by two? Your deadly visage has popped twice, Aramon. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. I thought you were asking him questions. Yeah. All right. So, in fact, your wound has been enough to drive it off. And on second 22, since no one is acting on it, it goes to flee and bound off. So does anyone... Uh -huh. is, yeah, so first, does anyone have fleeing opponent? Nope. That's me. That's me. All right. Roll... Uh, and I will go ahead and add in the uh, the extra bonuses. All right. Yeah, you may swing. You need to beat a twelve. That I do. Uh, this isn't with reckless strike because just a random swing. Yep. Ten. Mm. Nope, nope. I sure don't. So you swing and it just it just bounds out in one large leap, and so your blow whoo, misses. However, I also have to ask. Uh, Elka, you're in that combat as well, and you were about to swing on the next second, which means you can attack as well. Uh huh. Okay, I will do that. I mean, if, I mean, you, if want you want to. Of course, I want to. All right. You need to beat a 13. A 19 sure does that. So let's see some damage. What's that crit? 15 points of damage. Nice. That's looking good. So it does have some DR, but it does get through, and you bludgeon the creature on the side, and it it uh, it, it it stumbles for a moment, but continues going. Mm. Its, its fur is matted in blood. It what would everyone like to do after that? It you see it it bound up to this hill. It, it, it ba basically bound up to this next rise and it turns back towards you. And you can see it's, it's dripping blood on all the snow and it snarls. I'll be back to eat you all. Don't wait. It can actually talk. We can talk. It can. I'm going to. I thought I was a joke earlier. Yeah, no. that's <laughs> unexpected. All right. As it says. I pull out my, I drop my weapons and pull my bow and sort of basically load it and put it in the right direction. It's like, <laughs> if he ever comes back, it's going to get an arrow on the face. Yeah, you, you pull out your bow and start drawing an arrow and you see it argh, snarl one last time and then give a bark and runs off. A bark. A A boof. A boof. <laughs> and uh, with. That's a that's a little bit inside of a of a joke uh, for for Lunella because our cat whenever it jumps, it like every time it jumps it makes a little sound, meow. Like just <laughs> every time it runs, it like narrates its own life, which is uh, I I love. But we are at one. Uh, we're fifteen minutes till ending. We just ended this fight, and I think this would probably be a good spot for me to tally up the experience points you gained and then call it an oh, well first anyone want to do first aid on Elka yes good idea Woo. I gotta remember that it's not an opposed role Yeah, do you want to just roll again? <laughs> well, you have to be just within forty percent of. You needed to yeah. be. You need to have a sixty-four. Yeah, you got exactly. a sixty-five. So yeah, that was maybe, maybe you just take too time, too much time. Uh, you know, like using your longbow and and watching out for this creature, and they try to bind it themselves, and it just doesn't do very well. Um, um, uh, what's his name? Yes. Ryther. Yeah. Ryther has first aid. You can only do first aid once on each wound. 
So oh. one person attempts it. Okay, so if yeah. one person fails it, nobody That's else it. gets in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you guys defeated the goblins. You guys beat off, you beat this creature. Beat off that creature. You beat off that red creature. <laughs> you guys just gave that wolf a red rocket. And uh, let me see. How many of you? One, two, three. Oh, I can just count. I don't know why I'm not counting on four. It's four and a half of you because Vrythor counts as a uh, another person. So, are you saying Vrythor's only half a person? I mean, he gets half an share of experience since he's a hireling. So, what year Vrythor, are you from, man? Vrythor gets nineteen experience points, and everyone else gets thirty-eight. All right. Oh, it's good I'll to know that, that killing goblins wasn't going to level up all of our old characters. Uh, hey, I'm almost at half. The goblins did give you experience points, and just making an encounter flee will give you experience points as well. Um, no, I'm just saying that 38 experience points for as much as we were dealing with those goblins so much back in the day was not going to change our lives as much as not dealing with the goblins would have. Yeah. Even in the end... I think we that, could take on the mountain. Even in the end, that last <laughs> encounter with the goblins, where there was like 40 goblins or whatever. We just encountered what? How many goblins was that? Eight? Uh, no, that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Six goblins, and we got 38 experience for defeating them. Yeah. There's not a lot of experience points to goblins versus how much they seem to be able to kill you. Goblins have... Yeah, goblins have a... Especially with the D sixes on their damage dice, it especially if they critical or anything like that, they can get lucky. But uh, you guys have a, I guess a, a little debriefing after the session. You guys have any comments, questions, concerns, thoughts? Clearly, that wasn't a sturge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I've typed oh, yeah. my thing out, but I'm willing to discuss that between games. Is definitely yeah, yeah. a uh, much scarier thing. I'm definitely of the opinion of at this point that Armin totally killed the merchant just to uh, put us on this path. <laughs> Who knows? Um, uh, but I mean that's just kind of a funny point. Uh, otherwise, like, uh, I think we have no idea how to travel well. <laughs> We're doing fine. <laughs> yeah. Some cold weather gear. I mean, might. Who would have expected nice. a talking giant direwolf? Literally, none of us. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Racist, giant direwolf. I mean, yep. I'm still take one <laughs> over the other. Actually, because that wolf spoke, he could have also been racist. That's true. It had a consciousness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the goblins, they they talk, but they can't discriminate. They just don't understand. It's food or not. Yeah. <laughs> gob gob. It's it's the wargs that are really in charge of goblin society, you see. Maybe that was a warg. Anywho, I leveled. So Yeah. You did? Awesome. So that will be level two. Mm-hmm. Uh do you want to do the you rolled maximum hit points right time? Oh, we might as well do hit points. Uh, because every every level for the first three levels that a ranger gets, you get to roll hit points. So oh. roll one d eight. I didn't realize that you were level one this whole time. One d eight, and that's it. No bonuses. Just one d eight. Yeah, five. I got average. Five. So you get another five hit points. Yay! And uh. We We'll we can work on that. Uh, we can actually do that level up mm -hmm. right now, and as we kind of end the session, then maybe mm -hmm. next time we could talk about all the stuff you get. Uh, stay in touch at two for it's with Rafferty running. Rafferty's running a game of Urban Jungle, astounding. Urban, ah, oh, don't help him. I I was I was almost there. I just I knew it was using the same Iron Claw system and. Uh, Eventually, maybe I'll write it down. 
We should just yeah, add you into one of these games one of these days. Maybe I'll run another one for you. <laughs> and I'll just do it explicitly with you. That way I know the name. I'm like, ah! It's that thing. The thing that I forgot. Oh, shoot. Lessons, are you playing at the game at 2? No, I am uh, playing over at uh, five, 5 o'clock uh, Eastern. Uh, 6 o'clock six Atlantic. O'clock. 6 o'clock Eastern. Seven o'clock Atlantic, actually. Uh, with uh, with nine um, o'clock moon dra- time, dra- Dragon Age, <laughs> no, Dragon Age, Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> edition. Yeah, session all right. one. All right, so that's all we got for this week. Next week, we'll see if the party can survive this frozen mountain, if only. Yeah. All right.